major three. Ultra having taken a loss, but Optic will be on the attack, looking to shut him down. There we go. A little bit of a nerdy Nate spot interrupted there. Where's this going to land? Looks like it's going to land on the outside of the double doors, just on the outskirts of the A bomb site there. Kleenex has made it in towards the top side of the fortress, a good power position to be in here. He's going to cut anyone out. He wants to go, oh, that's what we're worried about. He wants to get involved. Kleenex dips on out. Keeps the flow moving, though. Keep in mind, in this round one, no trophies. Stuns and nades, that much more impactful. Kleenex getting a little bit of use for the intel, and Ooh. it's going for the angle, but Scrap just finds it already. It's that first blood on who? Mr. Yulianson was the bait. He was not the target. Smooth moves, sweet hops. The bomb does drop there for up to Texas. He does spot oh, he it. Knows. That's huge. Oh, recovery. Oh, big win. Shotzi. Like a thief in the night, steals it. Does get taken care of, though. Hixie makes it a 2v2. Uh, everybody's stomping around as well, but Hixie up top. This is such a different, uh, difficult situation to clear out. And you have to go and collect that bomb. And Ultra, they just watch Shotzi pick it up. They know exactly where it is. Time's ticking, though. Ghosty wins yeah. the fight against his old friend, Hixie. And now it's a 2v1 insight. He's playing this tight corner. All what he is doing here, he's playing off the clock, he's playing off the sound, he knows, he knows what it is, and he lines them up! Oh! He guns him down! There is perfect cerebral gameplay, and then there's the gunny. Insight was the king of clutch throughout the Vanguard year, and he just got spooked by Ghosty. And talk about a way to get some momentum back on your side. Think about the run from Optic. If Ghosty didn't start off world starring players on this map back when he was playing London, they would have not gotten this far. Hero plays once again. Shotzi now silent. Bryce likes to put it superpowers engaged. He has put himself in an amazing position. Here we go. And Shotzi now starts to sing. And the symphony ooh, gets cut a little short by Insight. Ghosty though, right back at it. Oh, and he's nearly got Hixie again. Insight, the guardian angel now for his boys. Can Luke stop him? He gets Kleenex. As Insight, 1v2. I mean, redemption for Insight, but don't give this one away. He does have dead silence, does not have the bomb. Would love to get this back, but look who's flying. Both these players have dead silence popped insight. Dare I say, and dare I say it, the lightning doesn't usually strike twice in these sort of series, but we're about to find out in a moment, ladies and gents. Insight finds one, here comes the second. 35 on the clock, big tags in. It's toe to toe with Hook the Nuke. He's got time to work with. 30 seconds isn't a massive amount, but a little bit of time to go. And come on, no dead silence for Hook. Insight playing the chase game, and look at that angle. Anything you could do. Oh! Who can do better? That is another 2v1 situation. Insight has found him in very similar situations. That who? Deja vu. I want a heart rate monitor on who? Ice cold. It could be dead. You never know, man. Wow. Two rounds, back to back, Optic Texas. <laughs> Farm in the hands of Hook himself. Round three, here we go. Nobody on the cross. Another tight setup for Ultra on defense. The same can be said for Optic. You check in all the jump up spots. Kleenex, he'll play with them. And Hixie can do the same. Nice and contained, playing for picks. Optic are not in a hurry. We saw the way Kleenex played this the first time round. Who was the target? Scrap found, but I don't think that's going to happen this time whatsoever. Less than a minute to go. A bomb site fully controlled right now from Optic. That dead nade's going to slow people down. Here comes Scrap. Big tags in. A lot of damage dealt. There's 60. The kill man dives on in. Finds himself at least one backs out. Takes it going to get away though. So that is going to be a trade, and that bomb is going to go down. No flanks coming through. Ultra, they're just going to run straight through the front. They go through the front. Here we go though. Ghosty gets himself into the fight. Just to get the second, though, Kleenex is alive. Hook of the flank finds himself one and out to 2v1. Kleenex flying solo, and he does have dead silence. Whoa! He might have thought about using it, but Hook wins his ones, four and one overall. And shutting down Insight, not allowing him to clutch. 
Honestly, how different this game potentially could have been if Ghosty doesn't hit the 180. Spinorama in round one. Because Optic have taken that momentum, carried a long way. 3 nothing lead. Hook's a problem. No one there from Toronto Ultra has really been able to deal with it. Last man up for Optic Texas in all three of these rounds, and he has been essential. Ghosty with that first, and here we go. Smooth moves, hops. Might be hitting that single window, but we'll see. Again, in search and destroy, it is first to six. Optic over the halfway mark. Question is, he's trying to plant that bomb. That's a lot of damage done, and that's a first blood for Shotzi. Bomb not there yet, and a player up top, incredibly difficult to weed out. Shotzi, though, gives it away, does get traded. Bomb plant, 3v3. All smooth and steady for Insight there. He's going to hold that one down. Five and three. Bomb planted now for Ultra. What are you going to do, Optic? 35 seconds. You have to get onto that bomb and defuse it. Hook makes his way in. Ghosty starts proceedings. Pixie finds one and dips out immediately. Can Hook find himself anything here? This is going to be his fifth kill in a row, and if he can get it, 20 seconds. Ah, uh, they're just chasing, just Whoa. chasing, but now Hook's fine with two HP, but Hixie trying to stay alive. What is the oh. timing going to be for the 1v2? And Strap, the question is, how many spots can you check? They got it in time. Four, nothing, Optic. One second to spare on the dot. It takes 7.5. As Dashi, the agility of a cat, leaps onto that gallows and saves the day. It's four straight rounds for Optic Tech. And that is great reach from Hook as well. Flying when he needs to, getting that kill in the nick of time. If he's a half second slower, they do not get that round. Pushing the pace at the right moment. And for a team that's only gotten two first bloods, Optic have been on point. Don't let the scoreline fool you. This is an amazingly close game of Search and Destroy. Every round has come down to a matter of moments. Kleenex, though, first blood. Wonderful start. He finds himself two. Any more to be had? No, nope, maybe not. I'm going to pump the brakes. Just like that, it's a 2v2. Yeah, again, the first bloods have only been halfway decent, but they have been Ow. able to even up the odds. And Scrap, on hp crawling away for his life. And the bomb down. And Shotzi a pop. You see this at the start of the round, but this late, can you make this read? Question is for Scrap, he finds shots, he got a 1v1. He knows where Hook was. Can he do it again? Hook the nuke! <laughs> the inimitable Hook, 8 and 2. There is simply no one like him. When he's hot, he is untouchable. Dead silence does not pay off for Hixie. And if there's a, a gunfight on the map, he's taking it. Hoop does not waste time. He is in a hurry to collect this trophy. Jumps on the kill instantly. If his teammate calls something out, whatever they call it out, they're going to die. All right, so we came into this map. Optic, they were the guys running the search and destroyers. Toronto Ultra, they were, sorry, Optic were running the hard points. Toronto were running the search and destroyers. Shoes are on the other foot now, ladies and gents. Look at Yossi, by the way, with the attack, 56, getting in the mix. Gets that first blood. Trying to suck that extra bit of life away from Ultra. An instant three versus oh. four. Hicks, though, evens up the odds. Opportunity to plant this bomb. Got a 3v3 oh. and Ultra on the pick game. They've been on point. Trades Ghosty as well as Scrap gets his second. Dashy, last man standing for the 1v3. So 1v2 now. Whoa, spots it. Reach out. My god, that is ballsy. Bomb down now. So Dashi, a lot of work to do. Has dead silence, so with that activated, he'll move around the map silently. This is a waste of time, though. He still thinks Scrap's in the corner. He doesn't know he got out of dodge by the time he figures it out. And now we should have the information. Now you can start playing, but only 30 seconds left on the clock. You're going to have to fly. He's got to go. Bruce has got to do something special. Scrap's got the back stairs covered. And we'll find out in a moment what happens. There's the snakes. Big tag, fights one. Player playing deep. I don't think he heard the shot, and now things get real crazy. There's Hixie. Oh, and he knows to back on out. Will he hold it? Or will he check that bomb? And there is the fight. Big damage. Not enough time, though, for Dashi to get this outstanding round there from Toronto Ultra. The re challenge. But two seconds too late. Great work from Ultra. They finally get on the board. And Dashi is a terrifying man to go up against when he is beaming like that. Scrap over peaks for a split second. Gets eviscerated, but Hixie a little bit quicker just on the peaks to make sure he's not hopping that bomb and had the timing down perfect. So smart play for Hixie and obviously a big two from Kleenex just to open up that round.
Ultra have avoided being 6 0. Full sail in the House of Optic. We'll find out. This crowd's not going to let it happen. And it's not like that. I don't mean it that way. Scrap first blood. First blood. Hey, hey, another one in the books. This one a little bit cleaner. No trades. And you see who wanted to go and take care of Kleenex, but already out of dodge. It gets baited into death. And his bomb down up top. That is a 2v4. And this is Ultra, the opportunity. Go oh! trying to pick him apart, but from downtown, Whoa! up high. Ghosty for two. Ghosty for two from the hip. Now he's got a Vaznev, and now he's looking dangerous. No way. The rookies. Toe to toe. For Ghosty, this is the ace. For Hixie, the round. And Hixie secures it. He gets his buddy back. If Dosi had clutched that, they would have erected a statue in his honor right on the main <laughs> stage of a 1v4 like that. Talk about Ghosty, the amount of pressure he has to feel coming into this tournament and how great it must be now. I have the crowd behind you. This man has been making plays all weekend long. Ghosty and Hixie, longtime friends, former teammates, they know each other's tendencies in a 1v1 like that. My God, it paid dividends to know. Hey, Ghosty loves to pump the brakes in that kind of 1v4 situation. Ha, ha, ha. Five to two. Optic on defense. And that battle for first blood as well. Optic playing with the idea of flanking through P1, but I think Ultra, a little bit privy to it. Insight's going to be locking this down. Window jump ups being covered by Kleenex. Ultra waiting for Optic to make a mistake. Uh oh. Insight. Backs on up. Plays defensive now as Hook. Ooh, there he goes again. Trying to keep track of Superman. <laughs> as far as Insight knows, Hook doesn't even use his legs. He just flies everywhere. Scrap those spots at least one tag's in. Chossie eviscerated, taken care of. First blood again. There's that first mistake. Optic overcommit just a little bit. You back the player down behind gate. Kleenex still responsible for the jump ups. And here's the move to try to get this bomb down. Kleenex keeping him at bay. It is only Hook behind enemy lines. 30 seconds, that bomb's going to get planted. Ghosty's making moves. No one using dead sounds just yet, so it's quite a noisy introduction to the game here. Oh, and Hook, he finds one. Ooh, Kleenex wins the gunfight, though. 2v3, ultra man advantage. Yeah, Ghosty has a trophy as well, so he's going to be loud. Dashy, though, with an AR. He's been in the same spot before. You know what kind of gunfights are going to be taking. You have to beam. Can he do it again? Nearly. Ultra, three rounds in a row. Those tides are turning. And early on, the first bloods were a little bit back and forth. Ultra, as of recent, have been on point. Scrap has three in this game. Ixie and Kleenex have provided as well. But Ultra taking their time on the attack. They've been very stagnant on defense as well. Maybe an opportunity for Optic to make a move. Still map point here for Optic Texas. They're yet to crack the final code. They're so close to the finish line here on Alvagra. Nades up. That's going to meet the trophy. Optic looking to overwhelm the A-bomb site here on offense. Nobody quite there yet. And there's no funny business. I think Optic can feel it. Using the tax to back it down. No waste of time. Trying to go for the bomb play, but Ultra going to jump on it. Ghosty does get traded for the 3v3. Dropsy flies into action, finds himself one. And oh, look what he does. The unexpected 2v2 right now. As Dash in the back stairs. Damage dealt. Will Shotzi spring? He knows those players are wounded. There goes one. Does he know that the bomb site has been abandoned? Because Ultra now, they're hunting down his teammate. Will Dashy's gun be at the ready? 25 on the clock. Well, Shotzi had the cross back to the bomb. He knows both players weren't there, but Optic lost the intel, so they're gonna have to take the chow. Take the challenge on the gallows. That is a powerful position to be in right now for Ultra. There's the gunfight. Perfect timing, the bait and switch. In we go. And there we have the last member from Ultra diving onto it. Dashi now in the 1v1 against Hixie. And the tie has finally struck 12. There's the win. That bomb goes for.